All right, this is gonna be entirely unscripted because I really, <laughs> I, I just want to talk about the crab, okay? The new crab special in Splatoon 3, it, it's so good, it's so cute. I just want to know, what what's it gonna do? We weren't told anything about it and everyone's assuming that it's gonna be a special and honestly, from the way that it looks, I, I can't see it being a sub weapon. I feel like if it was a sub weapon, it wouldn't be that big. I just want to know, what is it gonna do? And what should we expect from it? And I'm hoping that when E3 rolls around, that maybe we'll get a teeny tiny little bit more Splatoon 3 information, and maybe maybe the crowd will be a part of it. They can't just go and throw it out there and leave us waiting for multiple months. Admittedly, they can, but shh, I, I want to believe. I want to believe that <laughs> maybe maybe we'll get some information about it soon. So what many people have assumed the crab will be is some kind of turret, and that does make sense. We see it pop down on the ground, we see it move a little bit, we don't see it attack in any way. So I'm really curious if it's gonna be attacking a lot, or if it's gonna only attack a couple times, or maybe they just didn't make the attacking animation for it yet. So they were like, yeah, just let it dance, and, and that'll work. Okay, now let's go into how the crab might attack. And I'm thinking it might be one of like three different ways that they might attack. I'm thinking, you know, it has that like, the, like the mouth of the crab, like like right there. What I'm thinking is, what if the crab just has a single continuous shot of ink? We've had a number of different like opponents and items inside of Splatoon 2 storyline where they just blast ink at random amounts. So why not have the crab just blast ink at random amounts? Maybe you can't walk up to the ink blast, or you'll automatically take damage, or you'll automatically get splatted. Effectively cutting off an area from the enemy team. I, I think that'd be cool. Or it could just be like a regular old generic turret. And it could like, you know, walk a little bit, fire some shots. Walk a little bit, fire some more shots. Walk a little bit, fire some more shots. You know, three times for Splatoon 3. And then it will like despawn. I'm curious if it would have any kind of aiming mechanic into it to try and make sure the crab always like hits opponents. I think it'd be fun if it could, to an extent, predict stuff, kind of in the way the autobomb can predict stuff now. The autobomb tends to know, to an extent, where the opponent is going, but doesn't track forever. Once it's ready to blow up, it actually stops moving. I feel like if the autobomb actually continuously walked around while it blew up, it'd be a lot more effective, but maybe that'd be too strong. Maybe the turret would also kind of aim until it was ready to shoot, and then shoot only specifically in that spot? You know how crabs can shoot bubbles, right? What if that was the final way that maybe this turret could attack? Instead of actually using any kind of ink mechanics, it just blows out bubbles for you and your teammates to pop. I think that'd be a really unique way to make the special work, and it would still allow us to keep Bubble Blower. All right, so the next thing that I'm wondering though is how breakable is the turret? In Splatoon 2, a lot of the specials are kind of balanced out by the fact that you can, you know, break them, right? Like Booyah Bomb, you can break it. Bubble Blower, you can break it. Splashdown, you can break it before it even gets started, making it useless, as always. <laughs> what if the crab is actually a pretty strong special, but it's actually breakable from the front, like where the turret is? It does have those huge shields on the side, so why not have it be like possibly only damageable from the front, so you have to like put yourself at risk maybe to be able to break it, but if you do, it completely ruins their ability to use their special. I think that'd be a good balancing tool. And I'm also curious about how far away you're gonna have to be to put that special down. Like, do you as your inkling have to kind of, like, like, like tap, tap your way over and then put the thing down? Or can you maybe like walk away a little bit and like chuck it from a distance rain style? If you can chuck it from a distance, like can you hold on to it for a long period of time until you're ready? Or is it like a timed thing? Can I pick it up and hold it in my hands that's so I can enjoy it during a squid party and just jump around like I'm using the Rainmaker, please? I wanna know how big it is. Like how how big is it in your inkling's hands? Like is it gonna be like little little teeny tiny ball? Like hee hee hee, you're so small. Or is it gonna be like a big special? Like when you hold like the Rainmaker or when you hold the ra Rain Cloud, you know, same thing, same thing. They, they both have Rain in the title, don't worry about it. Like I can imagine it's the type of special that people are gonna get super hyped to just practice with. Like, think about certain specials right now, like Stingray on Port Mackerel. You pop out a Stingray on Port Mackerel, and everyone immediately hates you. <laughs> but what if the crab is really good on certain specific maps? Like, uh, like, like Manta Maria. Manta Maria probably won't be in Splatoon 3, but in Splatoon 2, depending on where a sniper is, or depending on where a splatling is, it can completely change the game. 
if the turret shoots fast enough, wouldn't that kind of make it like a mini splatling in a way? Without actually being a mini splatling, of course. Like, think about all the different spots that a splatling can reach when it's on top of the grate versus all the spots that it can reach when it's on top of the bunker. Do you think you'd have people like making analysis videos like top five spots for the crab on insert map here? I, I think that'd be silly and fun. And I would love to watch those kinds of videos and, and maybe make those kinds of videos. That'd, that'd actually be cool. Okay, I have my doubts about this one. But what if it could, like, stand sideways? Like, what if you could put it on a wall, not just on the ground? I don't think that would really help keep it alive, because if it's on a wall, it'd probably be easier to shoot. But it would look cool, and it'd probably have even more ways of, like, shooting us <laughs> if it was on a wall. The possibilities of it are just endless, and it just makes me so happy to think about a weapon, even though we know, like, nothing about it. Or like any of the other specials in the game. Like, like what about the other one? That looks like it wants to be a stingray. I want the crab to be just so annoyingly better than all the other specials that like Nintendo has to nerf it super early on. But like just, just enough where it's still good later. I don't know. Do you think it's better when a special is really strong early on and has to get nerfed? Or starts out really weak and has to get fixed later on? Because sometimes when they get fixed later on, they're still really strong. I know the opposite happened with Stingray, where uh, Stingray started out super weak, and then it got a little too buffed. <laughs> so I believe we had to like pull it back kind of to the form that it is now, and people still say that it's strong. So who knows? What about other ways we can make it broken? Like, uh, what, what if you could just what if you could just ride it into battle? You won't be able to do that. Y you won't be able to do that. But I would like that. The idea of just seeing my Inkling just riding on top of it like cannon style is so sick. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or what about if when it's done, like it's done shooting stuff, it just blows up. Like instead of rolling away, like it kind of rolls into frame. It just, you know, it doesn't have to be there anymore. It's not going back to you. You already deployed it. So it kind of like blows up like a little teeny tiny bomb to do a little extra damage. That might make it a little stronger too. Or if they want to make it stupid broken. Maybe instead of shooting out bubbles or shooting out shots even, it, it could just fire its own bombs. What if instead of bubbles, it shot out burst bombs? You know, for fun. Oh, another way to make it broken. What if you could still control the movement of it after the thing fell down? Whether it actually can like shoot stuff or not while it's moving around, I think it'd be fun to have to like somehow control it. I don't know how you would though, because I feel like we don't have enough control buttons to be able to do that. Maybe we'd have to stand still while you do that? Or maybe you could control it with the D-pad for a short period of time and not be able to booyah? But that seems like a lot of excessive button mapping that I don't think the game would really want to do. Either way, dude. Crab? Crab good. Crab fantastic. I, I think I'm good talking about the crab now, but I just I, I just wanted to get some thoughts down because there's so many ideas of what the crab might do. I just want to see it go. I just want to see an action. It's so weird that they're using a crab when we're in the middle of, like, a desert environment. But I get it, because a lot of the Inkling things are obviously ocean-related. Either way, uh, this was fun. Thank you for listening to me ramble. And if you have any other topics you might want me to ramble about, I this might not be the last time I do this. I'm definitely keeping an eye out for any actual Splatoon 3 news that comes our way. So, till then, if you subscribe, you might get more in the future. Thank you for listening, and have a nice day.